looking at tutorial 4-1, we are required to do two things. Write out the characteristic equation of a gas, of a perfect gas, and identify, name all the symbols used. Then using that characteristic gas equation, calculate the mass of nitrogen, given its volume, given its pressure, given the temperature, and given the gas constant, specific gas constant, R, as 0 0.3 kilojoules per kilogram K. So, we write out the perfect gas equation first. P, P, is equal to M, R, T. Okay, here you have to be careful. We have to identify the syllable, uh, the variables. Pressure must be in Newton per meter squared. The units of pressure. The units of volume must be cubic meters. Mass, of course, units of mass will be kilograms. I have to do a small change here. Mass is in kilograms. And you notice that I have need to do a little correction here because we cannot use the equal sign, we have to use the equivalence sign. Three equal, three, three lines. Okay, and we are left with the gas constant, R, Here we have to be careful. The units of the gas constant will be in joules per kilogram K. So we have to pay particular attention if we decide to use kilojoules or if we are given the value of kilojoules. Notice the question. We are coming to that in a moment. All right, I will alert you as we go through the second part. And finally, the temperature, units of temperature will be Kelvin. So, once we've got that, the mass calculations, quite straightforward. The mass is equal to the pressure multiplied by the volume divided by RT, which gives us 40 times 10 to the power of 5. We have to use Newton per meter squared for the pressure, remember? And the volume is... 0 0.005 divided by R. Notice I cannot use 0.3. I have to use joules, which is 300. A very common mistake when you do calculations regarding mass. Multiplied by the temperature in Kelvin which is 298 because the temperature given to us is 300 degrees, uh, sorry, uh, given to us is 25 degrees. So 25 plus 273 will give you 298. 
crunching the numbers, we should get 0 0.224 kilogram. That gives us our answer.